Victory is all but assured as the constant flow of supply heads to Singapore. In the air, our flyboys hold their own, protecting our valuable shipping lanes. At sea, our own ships blockade Singapore, ensuring no enemy vessel can get in or out. And finally on land, our brave soldiers and marines continue to take ground and ferociously engage the occupiers. It is only a matter of time before Singapore is once again in allied hands. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea with the Abdicom mod. This task force, consisting of Clemson-class destroyers, has encountered a lone Japanese warship way out here. I'm going to order all of them to begin firing at will on the target. Let's change course slightly. I want Pope back here. Stop firing high explosive at the target, fire star shells. Additionally, I do want Parrot as she turns around to fire armor piercing at the target. Try to punch some holes in this Japanese destroyer, which is now receiving quite a bit of fire. Star shells are popping up above her. It does look like she is turning quite aggressively. It is a Yagumo class destroyer. This guy was patrolling just outside of Batavia, and, uh, well, this task force was here. So we went ahead and intercepted. This task force's primary job has been to unload supply at Singapore. There are no troops or supply aboard currently. I do want to adjust this ever so slightly. We want to approach at an angle like this and decrease speed down to 25 knots. Lots of star shells. Okay, Pope, you can stop firing star shells. Now switch to fire armor piercing. Yeah, if we can get some holes into the target to slow her down, cause some flooding, that would be fabulous, because she is moving very quickly currently at a speed of 29 knots. There we go. Got some hits. That's what I'm talking about. The Yagumo is now opening fire. She has launched her torpedoes towards our ships. I do want to adjust course now. Let's change course. And increase speed, please. It looks like Parrot is being primaried. Oh boy. Poor Parrot. Begin like smoke. How's the Yagumo looking? She looks fine. Surprisingly, she has an internal fire. Possibly more damage than I can see. I do want our ships to swing around, though, to avoid those torpedoes. Searchlights are starting to flip on Pope. Send more star shells over the target. I mean, she's presenting a pretty good target for us. All right. Parrot, come on, come on, come on. Increase speed, 35 knots. There we go. Start moving. Okay, magazine explosion. Love it. Okay. Perry, you are going to take over. Break formation, form up. Increase speed. All right. Wow. Yikes. All torpedoes. Six degree spread fire. Send them at that thing. If you can. That is not good whatsoever. Magazine explosion, my goodness. It's amazing how tough these Japanese destroyers are and Parrot is sinking. Okay, I think it is time to run away bravely, very bravely. Hope. Go back to firing. Harry, how's it looking? Magazine explosion, my goodness. Yeah, we're not getting anything for this. I do not mind taking engagements like this anymore, primarily because we have so many command points available that uh, one destroyer loss is not much. But my goodness, just a magazine explosion and she's gone. Yeah, let's disengage here. I mean, Yagumo's getting hit quite a bit. I don't think we're gonna be lucky enough to get a magazine explosion though. So we are going to run away. We 
We are clear to leave the combat area. Perry has a fire, but it should be good. And let's leave. And yeah, this Yagumo only has moderate damage. No flooding whatsoever. And we lost Parrot. So that was uh, not a good engagement for us, but oh well, I'll take it. We can take a look at Singapore. Task Force Jupiter has just unloaded some supply at Singapore. And this fight is going in our favor now. This task force is heading back down. We pretty much have the Java Sea on lockdown. I'm surprised this task force got... Well, this is where this task force engaged that Japanese destroyer. I'm surprised it was able to get through all of this, but it is what it is. Task forces are flowing to and from Australia. We have Task Force Vendetta here, which now has Hermes and Langley back in action with a full complement of aircraft. She is heading, or this task force is heading into the Java Sea to strike any Japanese assets that are going to try to break through here. This convoy is moving out, filled with fuel and troops, and this one is heading into Australia. It is day 151 of the campaign, and the end is in sight. Okay, folks, the moment you all have been waiting for, I am sure, we have a task force, a convoy, four merchant ships, possibly, moving southwest this way. And O-19 is tracking them, and moving up to engage is our squadron of motor torpedo boats. Let's do this. This is going to be exciting. We are going to see how the motor torpedo boats do in this role. Additionally, we do have another task force here filled with supply and troops that is just waiting till nightfall to move in and unload at Singapore. But let's see how long is it going to take them to get here? Two hours? Yeah, interception is looking likely. It has happened, folks. We have intercepted. Let's do this real quick. Let's get in a line of breast formation. Why not begin? All right. That's... I thought I said line abreast, not line ahead, but okay, that's fine. We'll make it work. Hell, not looking forward to all these. Where are our merchant friends though? There they are, target sighted. Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, all of you get into a line abreast formation, form up, increase speed. Break off. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's actually really cool. Oh, they're all splitting off to get into formation. Let's go down to 30 knots so they can all get in formation. And we are going to approach the merchant ships. The torpedo bombers are closing in and they are about to waste their torpedoes on these relatively cheap motor torpedo boats. So. I'm wondering, I mean, what's the draft? I'm wondering if these torpedoes will even be able to hit. It's time to start moving though, move quickly. Play our anti-aircraft guns. These Lewis guns on here will be able to do some work. They are flying low and slow. All right, break. Quickly, good luck boys. Our first challenge. Yeah, that's a lot of torpedo planes heading our way, 12 of them. Continue pushing towards the targets. Okay, torpedoes are away. Lewis guns are opening up. Get them, get them, get them. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. All right. Break hard. Good luck, motor torpedo boat number 22. Get out of there. Woo! There we go. Dodged them. Okay, motor torpedo boat 21. Come right. There we go. All right. Things are looking okay. It's amazing the AI is attempting this. Make sure number 23 does not run into, not run into these incoming torpedoes. 
Oh my gosh, they shot one down. They shot, oh, they shot number four down too. Good job, boys. Okay, that's it. We have survived our first trial, all of you. Form up. Get nice and slow, get to 23 knots so you can all form up appropriately. We had damaged quite a few of those aircraft and shot two of them down. I'm pretty impressed with that. And none of these freighters have have guns by the looks of things. This one is the primary target, this big boy. I'm sure it's carrying troops. That will be what we go for. We are all lined up and closing in on the target. Let's increase speed. 40 knots, let's move. Oh my gosh. This, this is pretty awesome. And I'm going to make sure all of them can fire at will. I don't believe the gun is animated, but apparently these guys have a nine millimeter main gun. So, you know what? If that thing can shoot at, uh, at these freighters, then we might as well engage. Might as well engage. Okay, this one, this one is the primary. We'll see what we can do. I'm thinking this one, motor torpedo boat number 31 will engage you. Motor Torpedo Boat 29 will engage you. Now the tricky part is going to be lining up our torpedoes because we have to get in that little bitty arc there. We'll make it happen though. How far away? Four kilometers out. I want to get nice and close because we can. Because we can. All right, break off. Get ready to begin your attack run. I'm wondering if it'll be better to go one by one, just so it's easier to manage. Drop down to 25 knots. Motor torpedo boat 31 and 29. Break, move quick. These two will go in first. And you know what, we're sturdy. 30's way over here, strange, okay. All right, move in. Big Boy is actually presenting a pretty good profile. Come right slightly. Begin targeting her. We'll send two torpedo boats towards the large ship. And the rest will split off and descend upon the others like vultures. All right, we are moving quick. We are, we're up to 39 knots. This is what 39 knots looks like, boys. Awesome. Okay. Is she still coming? No, she's turning back around. Well, regardless, these two torpedo boats will engage something first. Distance to target? Three kilometers. All of the freighters are trying to <laughs> desperately run away. Let's get lined up perfectly here. Honestly, we could go for that one, but these two are going to split off and, and engage four. How far are we? 800 meters out. 31 will attack from her starboard side. 29 will attack from port. All right, get ready to swing back around. Main cannon, this little cannon is not firing, which I guess I'm not sure. I'm not sure why not. Whatever. Okay, lined up, torpedoes, both of them, two degree spread, fire. One away, there we go, torpedoes away, towards the target. Beautiful. Okay, the second one's coming around. Hopefully, she has almost no time to react here. Hopefully that's a death sentence for this thing. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, motor torpedo boat number 30. You are going to break. Increase speed, 39 knots. You are going to close in on number three. Okay, torpedoes are closing in. Looking good right there. Look at the motor torpedo boat coming around side here. That's awesome. All right, no duds, no duds, no duds. I Looking good, come on. 
Impact, there we go. Two, two hits on the target. Okay, number 30 is closing in on number three, torpedoes. Let's do a one degree spread, fire. One away, two away. There we go, come right. Avoid hitting your own torpedoes, get out of here. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's done for. I think she may be done for. Number 31 will go for target two. How's this poor freighter looking? Okay, those torpedoes swung around nicely. 23. Come over this way. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. It's nice that we're not being shot at. We can just descend upon the enemy and really annihilate all of their freighters. Two impacts there on target. Okay, 23, you're going to come around and engage number two. This one is dead in the water. Oh no, 23. Yeah, a lot of you guys, we need to, we need to start moving. One of them's trying to get away. We can't allow that. 39 knots. Get up there. All right, 31 here is going to chase down target number one. Which really is not that far away. All of these ships are deploying smoke, trying desperately to survive. I think I think they're both gonna go down though. Very cool. We are now firing at this target. Number two, fire. Fire two torpedoes. One away. Two away. There we go. Two fish away, heading towards the target. Motor torpedo boat number 31 can start moving in to engage target one. Number 22, let's take a look at our friend here. I mean, yeah, she ain't looking good. You still, did 29 fire her fish? She did. 22, you still have your torpedoes? Indeed you do. Come down and engage number four. Number 30 here has fired off her fish. How's this one looking? Torpedoes look like they're running towards the target nicely. Perfect. D. One impact, two. Two torpedoes hit. Just an absolute massacre. Two torpedoes a pop, and then whatever's still surviving will come and finish up. I am curious about this gun does not seem to be working. Maybe it's just an anti-aircraft gun? I'm not sure. See if it'll manually fire. No? Okay, well. Alright, close in on target. Maybe it needs to be in this little arc here. Not sure. Okay, torpedoes, fire. Do not manual fire. No, 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 no. Turn that off. Fire. All right, let's swing around and try again. Way too close. My apologies, Mr. Merchant Ship. Oh, I guess we can attack with this one. Come around. Put our midships. Fire. One away, two away, two fish away. How's this one looking? Dead in the water. Pretty much dead in the water. Dead in the water. It's only, well, not totally dead in the water. All these freighters do not look good. That is for sure. This, uh, this one's the primary. We've got torpedoes here. 22 should, and she's moving in. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's see how these torpedoes do. All these solutions have been quite good, and knock on wood, but we have not had a single dud. This one's actually breaking to evade. Will it be successful? Nope. One dud, there we go. Kinda what I was waiting on. All right, 31, come around. It's your time to shine again. Okay, 22 is closing in on your friend. Begin working on a solution. One degree spread. Okay, one is sinking. Good. 
Number two. All right, fire. 31. Slow down. And fire. There we go. Torpedoes away. Let them have it. 22 is closing in. Torpedoes are away. All right, who else has torpedoes? You are out. Yeah, micromanaging this is um, a little painful. That's okay. Looks like one may have been enough here, but have two more. They're just devouring these poor freighters. Only one enemy freighter is left, and thankfully, motor torpedo boat number 21 has two torpedoes available. She is going to close in and engage. That will be the end of all of the Japanese freighters. Overall, pretty successful attack. These guys will head back to Sarabaya to rearm, I guess. All right, fire your fish. One away, two away. Cool, drop speed. So you don't run into your own torpedoes. And that is cool to see right there. Torpedoes are heading towards the target. And I think this will certainly be the end of her. She already took a couple and it's just barely hanging on. Let's check the report. Critical damage, heavy flooding, not entirely surprising. Hey, we've gained one command point for this attack. That is nice to see as well. I'm not sure where this task force was planning on going. Based on their course, it seems like they were trying to head towards Java, which uh, does not seem very intuitive. I think the AI should prioritize Singapore at this point since we are on the verge of taking it. Okay, torpedoes are about to hit. Good angle, impact, both fish, and that's got to be all she wrote. This, there's no way this thing is staying afloat. You see she is taking on water, waves are lapping over the stern. There we go. Number three is sinking. Let's leave. There we go. All four merchant ships sunk. Continue on. That was, uh, that was interesting and quite exciting. We are going to continue to resupply Singapore as the days tick on. It is the night of July 3rd, 1942, and time to unload all of our cargo. Task Force 22 is closing in, and let's unload all of their cargo. Make sure we got all of it. Perfect. Take a look at Singapore. Balance of power is about even, currently. We do have more troops we can bring to Singapore, which we will do. This is certainly going to be a long, drawn-out fight. What's that's day 152? Are there troops I can bring from anywhere else? Not really. I've pretty much taken all of our troops. We have quite a few troops here. So Task Force 22 will move down here, take on troops from Palembang, and drop them off at Singapore. So we can slowly start just beating the Japanese back here. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry for the shorter episodes, it's just at this point in the game it takes a lot of time to get a relatively small amount of footage, as a lot of what I'm doing is just resupplying troops and doing stuff on the campaign map, which I don't think is necessarily super exciting to watch. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.